Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio, and in this tutorial we are going to be walking through how to embed a YouTube video onto our actual Shopify product page. So first we are in the back end of Shopify, and we're going to go in this left-hand column to Products. And I already have a test product set up, so I'm just going to click on this. And first we'll take a look at what our page looks like already our product page. So again, this is just the test product with a, an image and some text. So what we're going to actually walk through doing is embedding a YouTube video underneath this text here so that it can play on your actual product page. So this is a great option for if you have a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to use your product, if you have um, different user submitted videos of them using your product, or you just want to get people familiar with your company it's great to add in a video there because videos typically do get watched a lot more than instead of reading a huge body of content. So now that we see where we're going to put it, we are going to go back to our Shopify backend page and we're going to also pull up YouTube. So I've already pulled up a YouTube video that we are going to embed and this is from Shopify's YouTube channel which is their build a business competition. So if you're not enrolled in this already, I do highly suggest that you enroll. Um, and you can find out more information about that at Shopify's website. So we're going to embed this video on our site. So underneath the video, you'll see share. So we're going to click on share. And this is just the URL if you wanted to share that video on Facebook or another social media platform. So we're going to actually hit embed. And here you see it has an embed code already, but we can customize this. So we're going to first hit show more and go through some options. So first off, we are going to turn off show suggested videos when the video finishes by just unclicking that. That's whenever after the finish video ends, then they'll have other videos automatically play that are similar. However, they're not necessarily um, videos specific to your product, so it's kind of nice just to have the video end and not show any other suggestions. And we're going to keep the player controls, which is um, whenever you play the video, like pause and turning up the volume, but we are going to close out of the show video title and player action. So if you saw that before, that's up here, and now it just kind of cleans it up a little bit more. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to do to customize our embed code is we're going to change the video size. So there's already some predetermined sizes that keep things very proportional for your site. However, we have a small space that we're going to be showing that. So back on our test product page, we're going to be putting it here. So we want it to align with this content and fit in this area. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to choose the custom size option and I'm going to type, oh, it's already typed in there. So I'm going to type in 450, which is 450 pixels, and then it'll automatically change that, the height. So let's say if we, did 500, it'll automatically populate the height so that it still scales appropriately for your site. So let's change that to 450. I think that's going to look best on our site. So as we've been making these changes, the embed code up here has changed. So you can see now the 450 width and the height that we chose down here is already in the embed code. So we're going to just copy this and we're going to head back to our Shopify backend. So in the back end area, we have just our test description here that we've input. So we're going to go and click on this button to show the HTML. And we're going to just enter. And underneath here, we're going to paste it. If you pasted it in the first view, it won't show up correctly. So you do have to put it in the HTML mode. And we're going to go back to our editor view. OK, and so now you see our preview showing. We're going to just come in here and Push enter once so that way we give ourselves a little space by the video, but everything looks good. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to come back to our test product page. I'm just going to refresh this. And so now it's showing up correctly. So as soon as you hit play here, it'll automatically start playing. And you can go ahead and continue doing this for all of your products in the same process and do that throughout your site.